man, end of the year is coming up. <laughs> it's coming up fast approaching. I'll tell you, everybody needs to make sure they know what's going on so that uh, right after the first of the year, you are actually starting to reap the benefits of your uh, 2017 action plan, which means you need to be well deep into that by this point. So here's what we got as a market. We got 66 days close on market. Uh, we have a month supply at 3.6%, absorption rate at 27.7. The average list price is up to 485,623. Average sale price at 274, and the list price to sale price retention at 97.39. So what, what's it really look like as far as inventory closed, pending, things of that nature? Well, taking a quick look across here, we're down a little bit inventory-wise, which is, uh, uh, you know, uh, different than over the last three months. We've been increasing in inventory, so all of a sudden we're starting to decline. Uh, pending inventory is about 4,600, uh, definitely well under uh, where we're normally at, and closed units are sitting at 5,309. Um, you know, again, we're going to take a look at the spreadsheet in just a second, so we'll see how these things apply to what we were talking about last week. Uh, new listings, 1,234, that's down 36%, and days on market for closed, still hovering right about 66. That seems to be the number for the uh, month of December. Uh, taking a look on the bottom right, uh, the biggest change in our inventory is the day supply uh, on our inventory under 500,000. Uh, you know, now all of a sudden we're up to 76.6% uh, of overall inventory and the market is sitting at about 96.25 uh, days on market. That's up almost you know, 20 days on average. So that, that's really where we're seeing the slowdown right now at this particular point. But uh, slowdowns are, are, are a bad word in real estate. So let's take a look and see what's really happening and uh, how we can prevent ourselves uh, from having a, a slower December. Uh, looking across at new listings, we got 1,200, uh, excuse me, yeah, 1,234. Uh, we normally take 1,930 per week. So in the last week, we were down 36%. Uh, that is what is uh, causing our inventory to shrink from 25, 21,570 to 21,2. Um, and again, taking a look at uh, sale pending, this also contributes because if you slide your eyes across, you see that normally we're about 5,000, uh, 4,700 to 5,000 in the last quarter of the year. Uh, and we're now dipping below 4,700. Um, and we talked about this a couple of weeks ago and last week, uh, well, not last week, but the week before, we talked about the fact that uh, you know we're gonna see a little bit of a slowdown in the pending numbers because there aren't as many agents working. And there aren't as many buyers out there in the marketplace. So th you've got to see it fall right here in this particular number. Look, at, we got closed inventory sitting at 5309. This is good. We were talking about two weeks ago that, that you know, we're going to see it, historically, I showed you three years and I showed you the percentages that normally take place in the month of November. And I said we'd be probably at the end of the month somewhere about 5300, 5350 uh, closed. And, and I think we're going to come right there. We've only got another couple of days left of the month. Uh, taking a look at our, uh, supply. Uh, we're sitting at 3.6, you know, again, 4% right around that upper threes into that fours. That's a good area to be. Uh, it, it basically says that, yeah, we got a little bit of an inventory, but it's still moving 27.7%. Um, taking a look at the prices, average list price 485, that's going up. That usually also indicates that we're slowing down when the sale average sale price starts to go up and the average sales, uh, excuse me, average list price. Yes. And average sale price starts to go down a little. So we were at 280. We're at 278 last week and now we're at 274. So we are seeing those things, Mike, that are typical of a holiday seasonal trend within the state of Arizona, greater Phoenix Metro Market Center.